What? There's a fence. You can't keep us out. This is a free country. I'll show you what happens to people that put fences up. Yo, how's it hanging everyone? I'm CD and Fear Games. We're back in Spin Dyer today to check out Bugles Garage's new FJ80 Land Cruiser VX. Alright, let's go over the different body styles. First up, we got the standard that gives you one garage point. And as you can see, you cannot put no attachments on it just because it's a standard. And second, we have the Adventure. Now that kind of looks cool. It gives you 100 repair points. And the only thing you're allowed attaching is the cistern trailer and the log trailer. We have the crawler, which is the one I'll be using today. Next we have the explorer, which gives us 150 liters of spare fuel and 200 repair points, which is pretty awesome. Now you can only equip the camper trailer. Oh, the camper trailer has four garage points, by the way. Uh, the utility trailer, that gives you 500 repair points and each spare which gives you 100 repair points. Next we have the Explorer OX that gives you 150 liters of fuel and 200 repair points. No different than the first Explorer but this one is all decked out with decals which looks pretty cool and it's the same attachments for this as well. Now each body is unique and it has its own different performance settings from the rest which is pretty awesome. So you're like getting a 5 in 1 deal which is pretty cool. But you will need spin tires plus version 7 or newer for this mod to work properly. So I'll uninstall the explorer and equip the crawler which is pretty awesome. I know it doesn't have much for the attachments but this thing is set up to do some crawling. Now it's time to go over the tires, beadlocks, swampers, 37s which are his original swamp tires so these are made for the mud the creepers are made for the rock the komodos are made for the mud and the claws are made for the rocks but I think I'll be running the komodos for this video and we are on the new map trailhead by Dr. Ganozo sorry if I pronounce your name wrong but this is an awesome map it's pretty realistic and it has some awesome little rock crawling areas which is pretty cool and I can't wait to check them out and hit the trails. Let's do this. Let's engage our brake, our fork, drive, and our diff lock because we are definitely going to need them. Now this model looks pretty fantastic, my, I must say. Oh, it does have a roll cage. And we got our lip cam, which looks pretty cool. Now, of course, this one is set up for crawling, so it's slow on the straight stretches. But this thing shines rock crawling I must say. Check out this bridge. It's like a multi-layer bridge. <laughs> now that looks pretty cool right there. But this is a pretty crazy looking bridge I must say. It's a multi-layered. Weird. <laughs> now I think I would have just done it the uh, the one bridge and made them to crawl up the mountainside. <laughs> but that's just me. Pretty cool anyways. Now where'd you go? What? There's a fence. You can't keep us out. This is a free country. I'll show you what happens to people that put fences up. Fuck your fence. There we go. No problem. Oh, <laughs> we're kind of hung up. Let's see if we can... There we go. Up and over. Teach you right for putting that fence there. <laughs> this area is fenced out, so it must be good. <laughs> well, that was an automatic stay out, so you know I have to go over on the other side of the fence and see what's over here. Oh, we got some rocks. Alright, so does the trail go to the right or to the left? Let's try left. See if we can get up over this here. Nice, this crawler. Handle that, no problem. Oh, we're a little bit hung up though. There we go. We're using our skid plate. But awesome. <laughs> Wicked. Now oh, that was a pretty cool area there. Oh, our bumper hit. 
Oh yeah, so I guess you could go both ways through here. I guess it doesn't matter. Looks like we got a bunch more rocks up ahead. Alright, so let's hit them. Ooh, gotta watch out for those rocks rolling down towards you. Now I think these tires are, uh, they might be an all-terrain tire. Possibility. So, uh, easy now. Yes, we can get through. Nice. Well, the one thing I did notice when you, uh, when you steer, there's that gap in between the tire and the hub. Now, the one thing I would suggest Rugal Garage to do is put those, uh, like a sphere in between the hub and the tire. Like those CVs for solid axles made by RCV Performance Parts. Those look pretty awesome. And I think like a sphere would just close in that gap to just clean that up a little bit more. And it would look pretty awesome, I must say. Like those heavy duty rock crawling axles. Alright, so uh, so far I love these tires. The Komodo tires. They look fantastic. Alright, let's see if we can get our tire up there. Nice. Plenty of grip. We, we, we were kind of tripoding there. Easy now. Nice. Come on, here we go. Now, like I said, you'll need spin tires plus. Oh, we were up on two wheels. Let's we'll see if we can back up and get a screenshot. Oh, probably not. Oh, I should have kept going. <laughs> there we go. No problem. We got up and over that. Nice. Like, uh, yeah, what I was saying, you do need Spin Tires Plus because uh, it gives you different uh, suspension settings and tire shed settings and performance settings for each body style, which is pretty awesome. So uh, if you don't have Spin Tires Plus, this mod will not work properly. And I suggest you get it. Links will be in the description below. Looks like we got ourselves a river crossing here. A little bit muddy. Good thing we have these mud train tires on. All right. Only thing we're missing is snorkel on this one. <laughs> but that is on the adventure one. Oh, well, the mud's pretty deep here. Ah, oh, no problem. Nice. This map looks freaking amazing. It looks so realistic. It's cool. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can get up this little muddy hill. Oh, and you will need the Jasmine mod enabler to install this map and the tires. Links will be in the description below. And I do have a tutorial on how to use it as well. So if you guys would like to go check that out. Because this map is awesome. And I haven't even made it that far. Nice. Alright, so where to next? Ooh, looks like we got more rocks up ahead. Yeah, we'll definitely check those out right there. Quickly pull up our map. Ooh. Yeah, we'll hit this rock section here. And then we'll swing around and hit this one here. And see what our time will be. Hopefully, we have enough time to uh, complete that little course. <laughs> if not, this video might be a little bit longer because this map is awesome. This map, this mod, it's a great combination. Alright, so let's see if we can get up there. Alright, I may have to. Can I make the turn? Nice, we can. Awesome. <laughs> this Land Cruiser handles itself perfectly, I must say. Well, it is built for crawling. <laughs> That's exactly why I wanted to test this one out. Ooh, a little off camping section. We'll stay up here. Oh, hell, we'll go down in a little bit. And over the rock. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of damage there. 
Can we get up and over it though? Oh, we are hung up. <laughs> Sorry, skip plate. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's try this way. Nice, we made it through that. <laughs> Damaged our skid plate a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh. <laughs> Rocks never end, which is awesome. Alright, so uh, what's that? my best line. Alright, let's go through here. Sorry, let's get a tire up on there. Oh, that was... Oh, check that out. We are two-wheeling it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that is pretty awesome right there. Alright, here we go. Oh, this section is a little steep. Let's see if we can uh, have the departure angle to get up it. Nice, we did. Awesome. I think I should have lined up where the other set it though. Oh well. Alright, see if we can climb right up this. Nice. May have to steer. Oh, we're hung up again. Maybe I'll just go down low. That's probably our best bet. But if we could kind of pivot... No, not quite. <laughs> Sounds like a jet taking off, I must say, right there. There we go. Nice. Awesome. This is the perfect crawler. <laughs> Especially when he has Spin Tires Plus. Well, it's almost night now. Uh, I think it's our first or second trail we have to hit. That one. Quickly pull up my map. Looks like the next trail up is the one. <laughs> awesome, we get to do some night crawling as well. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. There we go. Nice. Uh, more rocks up ahead. Yes, this is definitely the trail here. Nice. How should I tackle this one? Alright, so... Let's kind of go... Oh, our bumper's in there. No, I don't think we got the clearance. I don't want to hit that tree. Can we push it up though? Nah, uh, we just don't got the departure angle. Alright, so we'll try that. Nice. We'll go over. Awesome. <laughs> this is crazy. Now check that out. That looks pretty cool, I must say. That can be one of my screenshots right there. Alright, so let's see if we can make it through without hitting the tree. Awesome! Handle that, no problem. This thing crawls. It's a beast. Oh, to go up and go down. Actually, let's go down. Oh, too bad the rear taillights didn't light up. <laughs> it would have been perfect. Alright, here we go. Easy now. 
rotate the camera around. See if we can see the ideal line. I guess it doesn't really matter. This thing crawls over everything. <laughs> Until you get hung up, that is. Alright. That work? Yes, that's our swing the back end over to these. Come on, not quite there we go. Nice! Oh, wow. This is a pretty crazy section here. Nice. Right up like that. Awesome. Ooh. Should we try going up that there? Let's see if we have the uh, departure angle. Yes, we do. Nice. Start steering into it. Awesome. Alright, let's back up, readjust for the last part to crawl down off this. Come on, easy. Nice. Like that. Smooth, like butter. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can climb up that crazy section there back up and give it a whirl. We align ourselves. Can we? Nice! <laughs> wow! Now that rock crawling section was crazy. Dude, Dr. Ganozo, good job dude. That was awesome. And Bruegel, your FJ80, the crawler variant, is a beast. This thing crawls through everything. It's freaking epic, dude. The only complaint that I mentioned before is maybe do something to fill in the gap between the wheels when you steer. Like, put in a sphere or something in there. Like those CVs made for straight axle, made by RCV performance parts. Because that would look pretty awesome and it would be something cool to fill in the gap with. So these axles look like those hardcore rock crawling axles and which will suit especially the crawler perfectly. So anyways if you enjoyed this video a like will be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new for more Spintire's content and until next time everyone I shall see you on the trails.